and now let's taste it um, in first place you must have the IP address of the printer the IP version 4 to make a connection between so I use this one the post bank and it have the off and on inside button so we will we must brush them together the on and off button and that's mean just turn it off and brush the feeder button together and I will show you how to do it so now it's on I turn it off I press the feed button and hold on a second and you will have this now that is the IP address of this bus bank I set it up before you will have it 01 or 11 it doesn't matter because I will show you how to link it in to the VC now let's jump into computer to link them together ah, by the way there is an ethernet in the back of it you can see I plug it in and that's go to to the ethernet of the router so now it's linked to this router not the WAN the wider network no the LAN the local area network you must plug it in and that's it connect the printer to PC the first one the direct just plug the Ethernet cable between and set the IP address like this go to network and shear center and go change adapter option and to the Ethernet when you plug it in you will see it enabled go to properties and the IB version 4 just change it to the IB that you will have it like I show you before from the PC and after that you can just go ahead to your browser and enter the IB address of the printer and it will direct you to the network configuration so you can change the IB address in the IB get the default uh, the gateway IB the gateway IB you must set it up like the same of the gateway of your router my one now is this one the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi the gateway is is that and the IB version 4 address is that okay I don't give a shit about the IB version 4 the most important thing is the default gateway of the router so uh, after you set the printer the same of your network and give it some IP address that is not exact in the DHCB of the router the dynamic host configuration protocol that inside your router as you can see my one <coughs> there it is the, the wired connect uh, there is no one you can see where is it this one it is the only one exists on the router with this IP address so don't choose anyone that's really exact on the DSCB of the router okay and after that you must just plug it in like I showed you before from the back to the router in the LAN and that's it the IV address just link them like this that is the printer and this one the router and it will have a stable connection between them this one it's not like a router it's like 
an old television you can see <laughs> real life blurry um, the screenshot to capture the widget and convert it to an image and the image to convert it to the format that this library understand it and the a printer library that's it this one uh, just to bring the image and cut and the image decoder and uh, that will have the image from here the screenshot the screenshot controller and inside scaffold in the body about center with the list view because I don't know how much the length how much the height of the reset will be and I put a text field to the printer ID and adjust the text and that's the screenshot when print when press on it it will but in the variable the capture image and a print it that's it inside the screenshot I put the container with the width that's the width of the paper size that you will have now it's fit on my paper 114 I don't know what the printer that you will use <coughs> So in the end, it support the un the unsupported format because it will convert the widget to image. So that's obviously what will happen. And now let's taste it. Um.